हमारे रियल हीरो ऑटो राजा Auto Raja received innumerable accolades and awards for his noble services. He got the CNN IBN award for real hero from the hands of Sri Mukesh Ambani and award for best social services from the governor of Karnataka twice. He received an award from the chief minister of Karnataka recently. He hasn't received academical education but got doctorate. All these accolades were for his selfless services. Yes, he's a real hero and I'm proud of him and the rest of India is proud of him. Carrier work beyond that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Otto Raja used to spend his days crouching on the streets and perhaps that's the reason he's now rescuing destitute from those very same streets and giving them food clothing and a roof above their head but most important dignity his home of hope is testimony enough to his dedication giving dress for those who have nothing to wear and food for the hungry taking care of the physical ailments haunting them by oneself is a great work of godly love for sure had they ever thought at the time of birth that the future will be doomed this way just think about it ignored by siblings relatives and friends these helpless poor beings were thrown to the streets as the very tap root of the word love was cut off by the merciless Auto Raja thrive each and every moment of his everyday life to search find and rescue such unlucky people who are lying on the pavement knowing the nobility of godly love along with his companions he shares the love that he got for free with others by giving them care and protection This man fell when the chronic disease of leprosy attacked him but Otto Raja along with his companions touched him with the ultimate weapon called love on one hand he himself is searching for such helpless people on the other hand the government too is sending such helpless people to him it can be reckoned as the highest appreciation for his charitable services as auto raja brings this lady by holding her in his arms in an attempt to tell her something her whisperings might have gone with the wind but no one could read from her eyes that she was trying to express her gratitude to him before her last breath through the 108 ambulance service the police department volunteer organizations and several other such organizations no further evidences are required to prove just how well appreciated is his service to the humanity as auto raja ushers these poor people to the depths of his heavenly heart true followers of god auto raja and his companions brought back several people to dawn while they were drifting towards dusk of their lives we have read the word love heard also but have we ever realized the true meaning of it we can see the very meaning of that word at auto raja's compound in the form of merciful people and lively incidents that take place every day with a view to continue these noble activities even after his death auto raja has made sure the involvement of his wife 
children, friends and relatives. His foresight is extraordinary and creating history through his deeds. This is Srinivasan from Vanyampadi. He is mentally ill and used to wander across the market streets, intimidating and intimidated, and he was undergoing severe depression by the mockery of people. He was moaning and groaning in pain as the rings were immersed deep into the flesh. He begged for a tea at a shop and they poured hot water to chase him away. The scars on his chest were resulted by their inhuman act. But today, after getting proper treatments, he's cured and living like any other average person. The fate of this person from Mysore is even worse. Rings all over his body, talismans, metallic bracelets on hands, and he was trained with his reproductive organ tightly wound by mesh wires. Highly superstitious, he hid his painful wounds, believing those mesh wires are having some divine powers. Treatment began as soon as he was drawn to the lovely aura of Otto Raja. Today, when we see him, it comes to our mind that pain can't stand before compassion. And he is a living example to prove that. Elderly people seldom get a chance to ensure their basic rights. Elderly people who are kicked out by their children, unable to leave hygienically for a long period, caused a wound at the pelvis of this man. Otto Raja and his companions brought his life back to normalcy with love and compassion. Salome hails from Chennai. She never sought medical care due to her excessive faith in God. She had a stomach tumor. She was wandering for 13 years bearing this tumor. Incidentally, she came to know about Otto Raja from a television program and she moved to Bangalore at once. She sought asylum at Otto Raja's home of hope and requested him to let her breathe her last there. Otto Raja made arrangements for her treatment. She was admitted at Ramaya Hospital, a popular hospital in Bangalore. The operation was successful and she was cured completely. Do you know the weight of her tumour? 56 kilos. She was wandering for 13 years bearing this tumor. She met death face to face. But now she feels, she feels like flying while walking. Death is a usual event here. The last wish of all those who come here will always go fulfilled. Though the people who drink the last drop of water from here lead an orphan's life, they die in the middle of a lot of relatives here. Their greatest contentment is the way they live by singing and dancing together 
like siblings. We too can join the noble objectives of Otto Raja, who realized all these services are his obligations. He reckons his nation, the people, and continues with his services, for he firmly believes it's his obligation. My country, my people, it's my responsibility. Kindly come and join with me. We will make a difference in their lives. Things required for their everyday life like rice, grams, food grains, medicines and any such helps are welcome. You too can join and work along with them.